you have to be careful because your feelings can be deceiving. And so anytime you are, as you are walking with Christ, you start feeling something that you know you ought not to feel because how many know even after you're saved, your flesh still tries to get you to do stuff you don't want to do? Lord have mercy. This whole side is that saved. <laughs> how many of y'all know that even after you're saved, your flesh tries to convince you to do something you know you shouldn't do? Just wave at me or just blink. If you're afraid to just blink. Hallelujah, right? It happens. You're on a diet and the doctor says, go on a diet. What does your flesh say? Go on and get you some fried seafood and just dip it in some butter. That's what happens. Your flesh wants the opposite of whatever it knows and you're fasting. Same thing. Why are we fasting? This doesn't make no sense. We don't need to go through this. Get yourself something to eat. Your flesh wants the opposite of whatever it knows God wants you to do. Don't turn on that channel. You know they're going to show something you ought not to see. And you turn on Esther. It happens over. Your flesh wants. The scripture says that the spirit is at work against the flesh and the flesh is at work against the spirit so that you are unable to do whatever it is your flesh wants you to do. This is the reality of who we are as people. And so Jesus calls us to carry our cross so that we can pin those ungodly desires, pin them and crucify them to the cross he has called us to carry. It's hard to pin something to a cross you're not carrying. It's hard to pin ungodly emotions and fleshly emotions. It's hard to pin those things to a cross that you left at home that morning. You're just doing your thing, flying by the seat of your pants. As God is saying, listen, every day, die daily. Every day, die all over again. Die to your flesh because your flesh and its emotions will lead you always in the wrong direction direction crucify it just like jesus died for the sins of the world so that you can be free in the same way crucify all fleshly desires to the cross it is important because how you feel can get you in trouble now here's here's how i know here's a little litmus test to let you know if you're one of those who you know you, you struggle with going off of how you feel i'm just gonna put you on long blast we say this all the time as as christians you know, I was going to go to Bible study the other day, but I just wasn't. You didn't say, I wasn't thinking it. You say, I wasn't. I wasn't. What does that mean? You know, I was going to sign up for Fresh Start because, you know, quite honestly, I don't even know what I believe. But when I found out it was at 830 on a Sunday morning, I just wasn't. I was going to show up for Nine Square Prayer Project because I'm tired of complaining about our city. I want to do something about it, and I want to join in arms with brothers and sisters and just pray over our city and tell somebody the good news of Jesus. And then Wednesday came, and it was like, like 5 o'clock, and I was like, oh, I had a long day at work. I'm just not. And it goes on and on. And on, if we're not careful, I was going to sign up for VBS. I know the children are being convinced these days that they can be cats and dogs and unicorns and the boys can be girls and the girls can be boys. And I know that's going on. And I, and I ought to sign up for VBS because I want to be a light to our children and lead them, raise them up in a way that a child should go. But then I heard about the commitment and I know it's just a week, but I'm just not. Sunday morning is an awesome experience in the presence of the Lord, 95 Hamilton Street. But you know that online is just so convenient. I'm just not. I'm feeling breakfast in bed this morning. I'm, I'm feeling. I just wasn't fit. Am I lying? Come on, isn't this the stuff that goes through your minds? I'm just, I'm just exposing the enemy this morning. I'm exposing enemy, and then everything that you're not supposed to do, you're feeling. Man, when, when that girl came up to me and she started talking about this, you know, you know, I, I, I wasn't feeling her. I wasn't feeling so, so, so I told her, and then you went up one side and down the other, and all kind of stuff was coming out of your mouth. That's what you were feeling. I feel like, I feel like, be careful because what you feel can get you in 
in trouble. First Corinthians chapter.